guys, John V here from Phone Reno. Right now you're watching our video comparison between the Nokia Lumia 928 and the Samsung Galaxy S4. Now if you're on Verizon Wireless, you're probably going to want to pay closer attention between these two handsets because they're widely regarded as the best handsets to pick from from the respective platforms. You have the Android experience of the Samsung Galaxy S4 and of course the Windows Phone 8 experience of the Lumia 928. There's a lot of cool features with both, but ultimately there could only be one. So let's start this comparison right now. On paper, the Samsung Galaxy S4 is both the thinner and lighter device between the two, which helps to make it the better handheld when it comes to in the hand feel. It just feels a lot more comfortable to hold, whereas with the Lumia 928, with its sharp angular sides and hard lines, it doesn't make for the best ergonomics. As far as purely designed though, there's something attra more attractive with the Lumia 928. It's a little bit different, whereas with the Galaxy S4, it pretty much mimics its predecessor's design. And when it comes to build quality, uh, we'd have to the Lumia 920 it's a little bit sturdier which is aided by its uh, weighty feel but just because it has that closed design there's n all the seams uh, are pretty much tight whereas with the Galaxy S4 uh, it does come off just a little bit more brittle between the two. There's actually a couple similarities that are related to their displays. First, they rely on AMOLED technology, so you get that showroom wow factor with their oversaturated color reproduction. Definitely stands out. At the same time, you get that, those great wide viewing angles. You don't see that much distortion and decent outdoor visibility too, so we don't find one to be better than the other. The other second thing that they have, they have in common is the fact they have uh, super sensitive displays. So if you're wearing gloves, they'll still be able to actually track all your, your touches and switches wipes but overall we'd have to go with the Samsung Galaxy S4 just because it has the higher resolution display a 5 inch super AMOLED HD display on there so 19, 8, 1920 by 1080 pixels versus the four and a half inch pure motion HD plus AMOLED display on the uh, Lumia 928 so it's 1280 by 768 pixels and obviously when you do the math the pixel density goes to the uh, Galaxy S4 and that's pretty much it uh, even from a zoomed out view in the web browser here uh, it it's instantly noticeable that the Galaxy S4 display is by far the more detailed between the two, whereas with the Illumina 928, it's a little bit on the garbled side. Uh, you know, for most people, it's not going to make too much of a difference, but you definitely notice that detail superiority to the Galaxy S4. And the other thing is that the Galaxy S4 relies on the uh, new capacitive panel where it's actually able to recognize your finger or track your finger um, even as you're hovering over it. We didn't have any issues trying to activate the buttons below their displays. With the Lumia 928, it's the tree of Windows capacitor buttons. They're spaced far away from one another to reduce any accidental presses. And with the Galaxy S4, it has two capacitor buttons that surround the middle home button. When it comes to the physical buttons around their bezels, we'd have to go with the Samsung Galaxy S4 set, both the power button and the volume control, just because they're a lot more pronounced and have more feedback than the Lumia 928. If we take a tour around the sides of the handsets, we'll notice that they feature pretty much the same set of ports. You have 3.5mm headset jacks, noise cancellation microphones, standard mics. You have their micro USB ports for charging data connectivity, but the Galaxy S4 just seems to have a higher feature set just because with its micro USB port, it also offers video out functionality with the aid of an MHL adapter, something that's not available with the Lumia 928. On top of that, also with the Galaxy S4, it features a built-in IR blaster essentially turning the handset into a universal remote. If you're serious about taking photos, you'll surely appreciate the cameras on these two devices. You have a 13 megapixel autofocus camera with an LED flash on the Galaxy S4 and it features uh, backside illumination and also digital image stabilization. On the Lumia 928, it's equally superior. You have an 8.7 megapixel pure view camera which features uh, an f2.0 lens, Carl Zeiss optics, optical image stabilization, and a xenon flash. Something worth pointing out, with the Galaxy S4, you have the removable back cover, so you gain access to its battery and also features expandable storage via its micro SD card slot. Can be useful for a lot of people. They both feature NFC technology, but the Lumia 928 features uh, wireless charging. 
Ultimately, as always, it's going to come down to the platform experience that's going to be the deciding factor for everyone out there. And essentially, it's a matter of personal preference. Now, if you want something that's easier to learn, stick with the Windows Phone 8 experience. It definitely also stands out for its uh, dynamic start screen with all the live tiles and a modern UI that's uh, seen heavily in all the hubs uh, that the pl platform has to offer. But it pales in comparison in terms of the feature set offered by the TouchWiz Nature UX experience that's running on top of Android Jelly Bean on the Galaxy S4. Um, so just not only do you have a lot more personalization, but on top of that, you have just an ecosystem that's diverse and also uh, more comprehensive than what you find with Windows Phone 8. At the same time too, you just have an insane amount of feature set. For example, you have the multi-windows support with uh, the Galaxy S4, so you get that really cool way of actually multitasking. You have Google Now, uh, which helps you track, uh, manage your daily life. Um, and on top of that, uh, you just have all the other unique features that are found with the TouchWiz experience. Even though you have a larger display on the Galaxy S4, it doesn't really prove to be any more advantageous when it comes to the messaging experience. Now you can tell with the layouts with the portrait options, it's pretty much the same, but you do gain the benefit of a, of a numbers row on the top here with Galaxy S4. They're both very responsive and quick, but thanks to the killer autocorrect feature of the Windows Phone 8 keyboard, we just prefer using the Lumia 928 for typing up messages. But still, you also have the cool swipe method as well as an alternative with the Galaxy S4. Here's a perfect example why processors don't really dictate the true performance of a handset. On the Galaxy S4, it has the beefier specs. It's a 1.9 gigahertz quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 600 processor with two gigabytes of RAM, which on paper easily destroys um, what the Lumia 928 features. It has actually a 1.5 gigahertz dual-core Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Plus processor with one gigabyte of RAM. So a quad-core versus dual-core, but honestly, Honestly, that doesn't really matter here just because their performance are pretty much on par to one another uh, for most basic tasks for example opening up applications uh, even gaming to an extent uh, they pretty much exhibit the same responses so uh, we're quite satisfied with both and honestly uh, they're both very quick you might see an occasional slowdown or lag with both handsets but it's nothing ever terrible on the surface, the respective browsers on both handsets work pretty exquisitely and also identical to one another. For starters, they feature 4G LTE connectivity so you get fast page loads, but on top of that, they have pretty much identical uh, navigational control, so kinetic scrolling, pinch zooming, uh, page rendering on the fly, it's pretty much the same on these two handsets, but we're gonna have to go with the Galaxy S4 just because it offers a little bit more with its arsenal. For starters, it features air gestures so you could actually scroll up and down and and even switch between the open tabs just by using some air gestures. You also have the uh, panel, as we said before, which is uh, sensitive, so you can actually hover over different elements. In this case, you can zoom in. And finally, uh, it features also smart scroll, so it tracks your eye to actually scroll up and down. Quickly looking at their stock music players, we're gonna head into the Windows Phone 8 one here just because it has that attractive appeal with its presentation thanks to the modern UI that's seen heavily, again, in the uh, in the hub itself. In contrast, the um, TouchWiz music player just looks a little bit conventional by today's standards. As an alternative, they also have their own streaming service. You have Nokia Music on the Lumia 928 and the Google, Google Play Music app with the Galaxy S4. As far as audio quality, they're both exceptionally loud. There's just a little bit of stronger output with the Lumia 928, whereas with the Galaxy S4, its output has just a little bit of a sharpness to it. One of the nice things about both when it comes to watching videos is that they have support for the same codec. So you have uh, XVID, DivX, H.264, and even MPEG-4. And you can see with their performance, it's nearly flawless. They're both smooth with their playback. And on top of that, seeing that they use AMOLED technology with their displays, uh, you really get those nice saturated colors, which makes it more appealing uh, to watch the videos. Now, we'd probably go with the Galaxy S4 just because it has a slightly larger display and the higher resolution uh, as well. But on top of that, just the neat features again really make it stand apart. You have the hover hover feature here. You could actually preview the tr the uh, video, and you have even pop up play, which actually layers layers it on top of whatever you're doing. So better multitasking. 
Honestly, it's really hard to say which one concretely takes the better photos outdoors just because the results are quite similar to one another. Sharp looking photo photos with good details and a pretty much the same color reproduction. But the Lumia 920 shows its worth under lower lighting conditions, even indoors under artificial lighting, just because it takes the, the sharper looking images. Uh, now, thanks to its f2.0 lens and also optical image stabilization, it just looks cr more crisp. On top of that, you gain a lot more detail and it's less prone to actually uh, it's less prone to blurring which we see with the Galaxy S4 and of course under lower lighting conditions it just draws out a little bit more detail the shots tend to be a little bit more brighter and with its xenon flash it casts an ample amount of lighting so you get some vibrant colors whereas with the Galaxy S4 it tends to look a little bit on the dull side However, when it comes to shooting 1080p videos, we're going to have to stick with the Galaxy S4 on this one. Specifically, it just has the sharper looking visuals between the two. And even though it doesn't offer the same optical image stabilization that you see with the Lumia, uh, Lumia 928, it has a uh, digital optical image stabilization. So it does rather well. The, some distraction that we have with the Lumia 928's uh, quality is the fact that its details tend to be a little bit softer and its exposure and color balance seem to be more jittery. Call quality easily goes to the Lumia 928 because of a couple of reasons. For starters, its volume output, both with the earpiece and the speakerphone, is a lot stronger than the Samsung Galaxy S4. On top of that, it has a pretty phenomenal noise cancellation feature, so even if you're using windy environments, it cuts it down on the Lumia 928. So in our testing, we didn't really find one handset to outlast the other. When it comes to battery life, it easily gets us by through a solid one day of usage. Um, but if you're going to be using it primarily with 4G LTE connectivity, you're going to get somewhere between the 10 to 15 hour mark with both devices. Like we said earlier, the deciding factor is going to come down to which platform experience is suitable to you. So it's honestly personal preference at that point. But when we look at price point, you really can't deny the fact that the Lumia 920 really stands out at $100 for the two-year contract. So that's very affordable. It's half the cost of the Galaxy S4, which is priced at $200 with the two-year contract. But then again, the Galaxy S4 does offer some unique features that the Lumia 920 lacks. For example, you have the ability to use all the air gestures and on top of that the, the hover feature of the display something unique to it on top of that it has a built-in IR blaster so you could actually use this as a universal remote you have video ad functionality and the host of software features that are integrated with the touch with nature UX experience which is by far more comprehensive than the Windows Phone 8 experience on the Lumia 928 but when we look at the comparables uh, battery life call quality um, even the picture quality of the respective cameras they're pretty much on par with one another and that's probably why they're regarded as flat flagships for their respective platforms. So either choice, uh, it's going to be great for you, but as we said already, it's going to come down to platform experience, so personal preference. So if you'd like to learn more about both handsets, guys, you can check out our website, PhoneRena.com. It's John V. Thanks for watching.